Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm so excited for you to be watching this video. Today's video is going to be an unboxing of all the tons of boxes I've been getting recently and haven't had time to open. But before we get into that, I want to say hi to everyone who's new. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel and make sure you subscribe so you can see whenever new videos go live. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, my handle is at NYC. So definitely check me out there and follow along. If you haven't noticed, I did cut off my hair. Um, so I've been trying to figure out how to style this like short bob kind of look. I wouldn't say it's a bob, it's more of a lop. Um, but you know, everyone's been rocking those really loose waves and with someone who has curly hair and then straightens it and then recurls it to get this look. I've been trying to figure out what's the perfect way to nail this look. So first up is the Kristen S. Soft Shine Beach Wave Spray. I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to help me get that kind of like undone texture that's kind of messy but also done on purpose. You know, that kind of look. And then the Loose Styling Powder. Um, this also will kind of just give you that extra texture. My hair does get a little flat on the top. So this on your roots will just help judge it a little. Let's do a little test, huh? I mean, it instantly is bigger. It's supposed to give your hair a really nice soft shine. It's definitely soft. I love the texture. Like, it doesn't feel gritty. I know I'm going to do an even better job with these two products, so I'm so excited to test these out. I got a package from Kristen S. I'm so excited. First of all, let's talk about elevating your shower aesthetic. Could this be any more beautiful packaging? Really excited. Hopefully Andy's not stealing too much of this. This is the signature conditioner and shampoo All right, next up is go to skincare I'm really into the smell. I don't like when products are overly fragrant. So this seems like very neutral and clean um, It says that it's very deeply hydrating and it helps Soothe your skin and fix uneven skin tone. That's perfect. because I have a ton of dark spots sunspots whatever you want to call them um and my skin is so dry in the winter i am so dehydrated um so i always look for a ton of face oils and serums and masks so from elizabeth arnon i got the retinal capsules their line erasing night serum so this is what the outside of the box looks like and then the capsules come in a package like this and they're so cute. So you just pop up the top and put the serum all over your face. You can really target the zones you want to target specifically. So for me, I'd go right over here. Uh, you do need to be careful with the sun, especially when using anything with retinol. So this is definitely a night product, as indicated by the name, night serum. And just make sure to wash your face in the morning uh, so that you're not getting any sunburn because it does make your skin extra sensitive to the sun. Next up is a package from Panacea. It's a new K-Beauty brand. Um, it's more skincare for me, which I'm really excited about. It is made in Korea. Um, and this is the Daily Facial Cleanser. Um, I'm really excited to give this a try out. It says to just apply a quarter size on your hands and thoroughly massage into your face using it both AM and PM. So I'm going to give this a shot tonight. Um, this is a K beauty brand that actually is looking to kind of condense the regimen. So they only have a few products out. They're not advocates for the full like 11 step program that a lot of other K brands do. I don't think it can get better than this, but we'll see as we go through. Peter Thomas Roth. This is holy grail skincare in my opinion. All I need to show on camera right now is this. It doesn't get better than these cucumber detox eye patches. They're so refreshing. They actually give you like a cooling sensation. And to partner with the eye mask, you can also do the face mask. So I'll open these guys up so you can see what the packaging actually looks like. So this is the gel mask for all over your face. It's such a cool sensation. Um, I haven't really used that many gel masks like that. They're usually like clay or cream. And this really has like a jelly consistency. 
and then the eye pouches. And I do like to usually pair both a face mask and an eye mask together. Also got the 24 karat gold mask. So when you're feeling super extra, like I would use this before an event when I want to be like all glowy. It's such a nice treat for yourself, honestly. Um, like self-care Sundays, why not? So this is for a lift and firm. So if you're feeling super bougie and you don't want to only do the gold face mask, you can also do the gold eye patches. Which I've got to say, I think I just got sold. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I have to. It's a beautiful package. I think it's such a fun item to have in your routine and to give to someone. Let's see. So excited. Wow, these are beautiful. I feel like it's a really good gift for someone too. It's like bridal shower or something when you know you want to give someone something that they wouldn't usually buy themselves. Like I necessarily wouldn't go out and buy myself a gold mask, but it's such a beautiful product. It's such a nice gift. My face is so dry. It's been crazy. The weather in New York is like negative five degrees one day and then 60 and sunny the next. So your skin, my skin is just freaking out. And I think a lot of people too. It's more of like a clay type of feeling rather than the gel. And lastly, the Water Drench Cloud Cream Moisturizer. Again, I'm going to try this one out as a face cream during the day. It says it helps lock hydration for 72 hours, which is crazy. Um, and see how it goes with my makeup and just like my day to day. Big envelope from Joanna Vargas. I got a restock of some of my favorite she masks as well as their ritual bar. So I think their packaging is so fun. They just repackaged not too long ago. They have this like holographic detail on everything now and it's so pretty. So the ritual bar helps stimulate and smooth while improving and detoxifying the skin. I typically don't use facial bars. Um, I'm more of like a cleanser person, but I do hear that these bars are magical. Boom, look at that guy. Ooh, it's so shiny. Um, so this is a glow to go mask set. It is a mix of their masks. It's the Bright Eye Hydrating Mask, the Twilight Face Mask, Eden Instant Lift Mask, Forever Glow Anti-Aging Face Mask, and the Dawn Face Mask. That was a tongue twister, um, but it's a great mix set. Um, I love these. I think they're just really beautiful and clean um, and they're great to just keep in a bag when you're traveling. That's typically when I use mine. This is the Makeup Drop Hybrid. It is a mixture of like a sponge similar to a beauty blender, but then also their silicone drop, which they're known for. So it's just like the perfect applicator. It has the best of both worlds. First of all, Ray branding. So you can see this is the spongy side. You can definitely use this wet, like a typical beauty blender. And then you have the silicone tip. I really like using the drop side to just like blend my foundation all over and then use a sponge to like even it out and get into like the smaller detailed areas. So I love using the silicone drop, um, not the hybrid, but just like the drop itself for my skincare and my face mask, especially when they're a jar format. Um, anytime you have a jar of skincare and you're just dipping your finger in there, honestly, you're exposing it to your germs. It's not going to last as long. Um, and so it's just a much more hygienic way to go about your skincare. And also another one of the Restore face pads. So I have to say these are like elite face wipes. I keep them in my travel bag. I only use them when I'm traveling, when I like desperately can't get myself to take my makeup off because I'm too exhausted. They are really just such a nice texture. I don't feel like I'm stripping my skin. It doesn't feel rough. Um, so they're just really beautiful face wipes. Again, a face wipe, I think, should be used in addition to other products, but we all have our lazy days. All right, too many things to hold. Um, I got a bunch of goodies from Glow Recipe and their sister brands. So first up is the new Blueberry Cleanser. You just use it as a cleanser or you can use it to remove your makeup. It's 
really just a great all-around product. In general, I just, I think Glow Recipe products are incredible. They have such a cult following. They really led the Korean beauty wave. Um, and so I'm super excited to try that new product. I also got a restock of my favorite, the Watermelon Sleeping Mask. I am all about sleeping masks. Again, for someone who is, you know, really dry skin, a sleeping mask just is gonna help your hydration go even further. So I am really excited for this guy. Also in the watermelon family is the face sheet mask. So this is actually a jelly sheet mask. So it is a bit of a different consistency. It's gonna feel more like a rubbery. Um, you can expect me to post some selfies with this guy later this week. Yeah, I got the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer. This is the same family as the other two products. And it comes with a nozzle like that, and you just are gonna squirt a little bit into your hands and apply it all over your face. I'm really excited to try this out. Lastly, from Glow Recipe, I got the Avocado Face Mask. This is their sleeping mask. It is kind of a sister to the watermelon, but it is avocado now. I mean, I love avocados. Why wouldn't you want to smear that all over your face? So, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Also from the Glow Recipe family, one of their sister brands, I got this pressed serum. It's the Blythe, Blythe, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Someone please let me know. Always looking to look bright and super hydrated. Then I got these charcoal pore refining pads. They're um, exfoliating and brightening. I really want to use them specifically on my nose. I get a lot of just like blackheads here. So let's see if these help me out. From Flash Beauty, I got the flip book. If you guys haven't heard of this, it's kind of gimmicky and I really have no idea if I'm gonna like it or not. But it is basically a flip book with on the go highlighter sheets infused with blush, bronzer, or hair and sweep it on your cheeks. Honestly, I'm wearing makeup right now, so I can't really tell if that did anything, but I will test it out and get back to you guys. It's a really fun concept. All right, now we got Mount Lai. This is a really fun brand. It is one of the top new brands at Sephora. It is a jade rolling company. Um, so this is the mini one. It's so cute and it's like literally perfect. It's already cold. It's so refreshing. I think I'm gonna have to do a video on Jade Rolling. This is really a perfect one for like little spaces like your eyes. Then, it does get better. I got the big version. So this is the package. It's double ended, so again it has that smaller precision one and then the one for your full face. So pretty. Jade Rolling has really gone quite trendy. I feel like it's really taken off, which is so interesting. And then what sets this brand apart that I feel like other brands haven't really done that have all jumped on the Jade Roller bandwagon is they also have a gusha tool. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either. I think so. So it looks like this. So this tool is curved in a specific way to really help catch on to the curvatures of your face. Um, you can see here it has this angle that you go up this goes right like this And you're supposed to use it with a facial oil and it just helps your skin absorb the oil and just you know Help judge it in there. I guess I gotta get rolling I'm gonna give this a chance see what I think see if it's really helping my skin absorb the oil um, I would say doing this at Night probably is the way I would go. I'm not a really heavy oil person during the day. Um, but I do think if you did this during the day and you put the roller in the fridge, it would really help de-puff, especially under your under eyes. So I might put the mini one in the fridge and just have that always in there so that I can cool my under eyes for a de-puffing effect. I'm back. Say hello to my little friend. This is really cute. It's like a little box and it says, good things come in small packages, peel me, okay? 
So there's like a tab here, you can see. Then I'm just gonna pull this tab. Don't let its small size fool you from Bliss. These are the Incredi Peel Spa Strength Glycolic Pads. This is really awesome. It helps resurface your skin. Glycolic is just really good for any kind of discoloration or acne or scarring. You just want to use it um, to resurface um, your face. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I burnt my face with a straightener a while back. So I will be using these pads on the spot to see how they go. And I'll give you guys a review because I'm looking for ways to get this guy gone real quick. Next up, Mario Badescu. You guys know I love this brand. I'm always posting about them in stories. Um, I've been to the spa in the Upper East Side. It's such an elevated, beautiful space and experience i really think that even though they are one of the older brands their products are just time and time always great um so this says winged liner and a red lip mask and mist champagne and cake i guess it's just things that go perfectly together ah mario badescu and sephora so it looks like they just launched in sephora which is amazing congrats to the team wow it's a lot of stuff so first up is the Glycolic Foaming Cleanser, then the Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. I don't love harsh exfoliators on my face. Um, I do them like maybe once a month just to really get that dead skin off, but I just think that they're a little harsh. So I like more of like a toning pad just for everyday exfoliation. Then the drying lotion. It's a great product to just spot treat on your acne. So I always, always break out whenever I get my eyebrows threaded. Um, so I actually just got them done two days ago. So my skin is looking a little bit patchy. So I'm breaking out up here and right over here, usually like on top of my eyebrows. Um, so I will be using this. Then the facial spray. I love this spray. It has aloe. It smells amazing. Ask any of my friends. I'm always just like spraying their faces and they're like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's good for you. Don't worry. Just take it. Love it. Embrace it. So here we go. Oh, yes. Oh. Nothing better than that. It's like a little zhuzh, you know? Wake up your skin. Refresh. And we have the oil-free moisturizer. I actually am out of this. Um, I was using this all summer. And if you're not from New York, you won't know that the subways in New York are disgusting in the summer. I mean, they're pretty much disgusting all year round. But they're just like... Dark, hot, sweaty dungeons. I don't even... That doesn't even do it justice. Just think of the most disgusting, horrible thing you can think of. Like sauna with dirt essentially it's just like a sauna with rats and dirt and so i was using this over the summer and i don't know if the humidity just wasn't going well with this or if i was just sweating anyways but my face was just like profusely sweating all the time so i just decided to switch i feel like this is great for the winter for me to hop back on now that the subway is a little bit better my favorite item ever well, okay, my favorite lip item ever. Uh, the Mario Badescu Lip Balm. I have posted about this guy before. I think it's incredible. I, it's my favorite formula. I have one at work. I have one in my purse. I got one in my cabinet, in my bathroom. Like, I have it everywhere. You kind of just, like, find them scattered anywhere I go. I just, like, leave one wherever I am. I'm kind of like Oprah. I'm just like, take it, take it take it and then I always lose them so I love this I can't thank the team enough for sending this my way Ooh, okay apparently I'm getting red carpet ready with cos rx so cute look at how big this is if you don't know what these are you either don't follow beauty accounts or you've been living under a rock these are the best. This is the best invention of 2018. Okay, I don't know if they were actually invented in 2018, but they got really popular last year. They are basically silicone 
acne patches you just pop them on on top of your pimple you leave them on for a while and then when you feel like taking them off you take them off and you realize like all the gunk in your pimple is just like in the center and it's just like cloudy white stuff i don't know how they do it it's basically magic Whoever created this was a genius or a wizard of some sort, but it's the coolest thing ever. And it's so effective, I swear. I see my pimples get half the size or gone the next day. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's so cute. I think I just found my new boyfriend. One step original clear pad. So they're facial toner wipes that gently erase any excess makeup and just they're going to leave your skin even more clean. And lastly, I got the Hydrogel Very Simple Pack. So it's an innovative daily hydrogel mask with helps provide moisture in dry areas. Hmm, I can't tell if you use this during the day or the night. One sec. Oh no, it says you need to use a tweezer. Let's see what these look like. I am so intrigued. If I can open them. All right. Boom. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so they're busy. I've never seen this. I'm so excited. This is so cool. Um, they're basically like eye patch jellies, like the consistency. But they're just circles. So I think you just put them all over your face, wherever you want for added hydration really smart and I don't know why I've never thought to just put an eye patch in the middle of my forehead before or on my cheeks it really seems like I've been missing something my entire life and you know what I just found it so thank you to CauseRx for changing my life forever if you don't know this you've never seen my Cabo packing and prep video this is the Frank Vaud original coffee scrub it's a great body scrub for when you're prepping for vacation, before you're shaving or tanning. So I really love always having this just in my shower whenever I need a really deep exfoliation. They sent me a package also. It's so cute. It looks like it's like an intimate bag. Um, so you can like put your underwear and bras in there. Um, but it's filled with a bunch of stuff. So first up is this espresso scrub. So this espresso scrub is basically similar to the coffee scrub but a little bit easier. Um, so it's already hydrated. You can see that the package is like squishy. Um, so it's less mess in the shower. And they also sent a travel version of the original scrub. This is the creamy face scrub. Again, I don't love a deep cleansing exfoliator. I just think it's a little aggressive and a little tough on my face. But a really nice exfoliation once a month will do you justice it gets rid of all the dead cells i think i don't love scrubs because i like to try to stay tan as long as i can and so i'm afraid to buff off that that tan um then i have the glow mask and their illuminator taking a break from some beauty brands still beauty related are these beautiful beauty cases by the daily edited they're monograms with my initials so cute i'm so excited i really love that they sent me a pink and a black one too because black's just easier to travel with you don't have to worry about it getting you know dirty or trash but pink is you know it's, it's a good color it's one of my favorites so opening this up there's this top lid with a compartment and it also has these two other zippers if you want to put in smaller stuff and then the bottom opens up as well for a deeper compartment and it it's completely open so you can just put your face creams and stuff in there it's a really good just travel beauty case so thank you to the team okay i need to take like a deep breath because my excitement level is out of control right now i am freaking out over this package from byredo i wear bald Africa. i mean it's literally it's right here every single day i love this perfume it's so beautiful i'm really all about like a great musky scent and i think it's still really feminine and beautiful so they sent me ah, they sent me both the body lotion and the body wash i'm gonna smell amazing all the time i'm so excited 
this might make me take more showers and actually lotion my body more so really great incentive to just like shower five times a day because who doesn't want to smell like this from head to toe i'm so excited this is the best package ever does it get any cuter than this bag mini straightener 101 i learned the hard way as i mentioned burned my face off really bad that a mini straightener is the way to go for your baby hairs so it just lets you get in to your edges so much easier and i will never ever go back to a full size straightener for there clay de po if you don't know what that is it's good because you're not spending a lot of money <laughs> but it is really good stuff so first up is the lip glorifier so pretty it's giving me really like dior vibes of their um lip balm that everyone's obsessed with and it's supposed to like bring out your natural like lip color i feel like this is what this is and what is clay de po without their famous concealer i have the darkest under eye circles out of anyone i know and so they have their incredible concealer i literally need to click away on it there we go and see it's starting to poke up I'm just gonna give myself a little dot right now because i am getting some dark circles and i'm gonna just blend it out with my fingers actually wow this formula is super creamy and beautiful so pretty i feel like it totally made a difference like that side to that side wow it might be a shade too light i might see if there's a shade up um especially because i'm really pale right now for myself um i tend to tan really darkly so i probably won't be able to use this once i get a little bit tanner but maybe i just used a little bit too much on this side but it's really beautiful it totally gives such nice coverage the formula is super silky it's really soft i feel like there's no creasing this is a winner that just like woke me up a little hello i'm ready let's keep going next package is from wander beauty so i actually i totally broke into this one too sorry guys i had to take a sneak peek this is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It is the On The Mauve shade. So really beautiful mauve shade. I wear a lot of mauve colored lipsticks. So I'm not afraid of experimenting with color too. So also in here are my favorite eye patches. You have seen these on my Instagram. So these are like a gold foil sheet mask. So it's not like the Peter Thomas Roth gold ones, which are jelly. These are more of like a sheet mask type of feel. They're really great for traveling, hence the name Wander. Um, but I love how these just like instantly make you look like you're more awake. Next up is the Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying Brightening and Peeling Mask. Um, I haven't really done peel masks. I think that when the charcoal mask movement was going viral of people leaving them on too long and it was like screaming and crying and it looked so painful and over dramatic that I decided to, at that moment to stay away from peel masks. <laughs> and I have a feeling that this one does not do that and it's more, you know, friendly. So I'll definitely give it a try. Also got the Beach Balm and Dulce really pretty also the extended stay hydrating mask i love masks can you not tell this is just the best and the last product from them is the on the globe blush so it is a dual sided highlighter that's really pretty so it's just like a light highlight and then the other side is a blush so the shades are actually nude glow and berry whisper so 
So it seems really buildable. Um, it definitely smudges out. So as much or as little as you want. The highlight's really nice. It just like sinks right into your skin. It gives like a little bit of a pop, but it's not overwhelming at all. All right, we're down to the last few packages. Oh, and behind box number one is Hourglass. First up is their Scatter Light Eyeshadow Pot. Oh, it has a little protector in it, which is really smart. Super high pigment. I mean, I literally just dipped my finger in that for one second. This is what the pot looks like. This is the shade Aura. This is the Lip Stylo. Caution Mascara in the black shade. I've been dying to try this. I hear it's amazing. Ooh. Look at that. Really nice. I will be using this tomorrow. Some more lipsticks. Package from Bite Beauty. I had such an awesome experience at the Bite Beauty Lab. It's so much fun. I really recommend everyone go. I went with my sister and it was such a great time. So they sent me some lip pencils, some lipsticks. So I'm gonna just watch a few. The Matte Creme Lip Crayon. Really beautiful dark berry red. This is the same formula. It is the Matte Crayon in the shade Aubergine. Similar, it's a bit more berry-ish. It's not as red of an undertone. Thank you so, so much for watching this video of all my unboxing for the year so far. 2019 is off to a really great start. Thank you to all the brands that have sent me these items. I'm so excited to test them out and share reviews. Again, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see when I do do the reviews. And check me out on Instagram at arielawsnyc. Can't wait to see you guys again soon.